So here we have the Vauxhall Grandland X on a 70 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. From the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials over on the left-hand side. Uh, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer on the right-hand side, the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge in the centre at the top, and beneath that, the trip computer, uh, which, as you can see, includes the total miles of this car. They are 11,723. The information displayed in that section can be changed using controls on the indicator stalk, so you can have a digital readout for the speedometer. Uh, various other bits of information, as you can see. If we back out to the steering wheel next, we have cruise control and speed limiter on the left-hand side and a heated steering wheel as well. Over on the right-hand side, we have our... Uh, stereo controls and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after you pair the phone up to the car, which is done on the touchscreen in the center. It's also where you'll find the satellite navigation, as you can see. We've done a video showing how the sat-nav works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube uh, channel. Down in the bottom left-hand corner, we can hit audio. If you then hit sources, you'll see that we've got the radio, so DAB, AM and FM radio available, USB input, iPod input, and also Bluetooth audio as well. Uh, so plenty of ways to listen to your music. You can also, depending on the phone you have, use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto as well. Satellite navigation is accessed here and your phone is paired uh, just there. We've also got the volume for the stereo, hazard warning lights and deadlock so you can lock and unlock the car doors from the outside. Working our way down, we then have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. When you're happy with those settings, air conditioning's off at the moment, so you can turn it on. And it's on when that light shows. Same button to turn it off, of course. Or hit auto. Uh, the car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed and direction of the air for you. And the menu button will bring up uh, the controls up on the main display. We've also then got a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings and the same over here for the passenger side as well. Uh, the button underneath that will turn on the air conditioned seat. Uh, which if you've never used one of these before is fantastic of course for the summertime uh, and again you have that on the passenger side as well underneath that we have usb input a 12 volt charging socket and some storage you can close that over should you wish to we have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox and then these buttons here so you can turn the child locks on and off we can turn the parking sensors on and off we can turn off the stop and start this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel that system is off when that light shows we can turn off our lane departure warning system we can reset the tyre deflation warning system and turn off our traction control as well. The last thing I wanted to mention is the panoramic glass roof. You can see it's open at the moment. It's a fixed section of glass, uh, but obviously lets in a lot of extra light. If you wish to, you do have a sun blind uh, that you can close over. Uh, you can stop that at various stages if you wish to, or if you leave it, uh, that will obviously close all the way to the front of the car. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.